But I find it really bizarre that if you organise a conference on Europe, there is Europe fatigue. But it's hard to think of at a time when Europe's been doing more controversial things. Darndorfian approach um, is taking a social science perspective and apply it to an existing problem and uh, in a way communicate the results to, to the outside world. Reach out, engage. Conflicts are not necessarily bad. See why having to believe in a particular agricultural policy is a test of whether one's a good or a bad European. It is an experiment. It's a very large experiment. Europe's too big to fail. It's too important to fail. We don't have any idea how this experiment is going to influence the new generations coming up. Europe as an idea cannot have a border. Who are growing up in Europe, which is very different than before. One of the common narratives about Europe is the sense that Europe is always in decline. When life was easy, when everybody just saw the great advantages of being a European, Europe could be very well just be a technocratical project. I think what we see is a blip in history and we see a crisis mode, but I think Europe will be coming out of this crisis stronger than it was before. These are transformative moments for the idea of Europe. And what's involved here isn't just an economic project, it's a political project, it's a security project. It is about stability in Europe over the long term. The social sciences have to, in a way, prove their relevance to the world. And once politicians uh, find out that they can learn useful things from academia, they will listen. The future is open. You don't know where we will be in five years' time or ten years' time.